It's tips and trips, new techniques and locations to expand your fishing horizons. Wheeler's a quaint little old uh, town. That, uh, you know, back in the days when they logged, uh, Wheeler uh, was thriving back then. A lot of the log rafts, they break up the log dams and float the, the logs down here. And you'll see a lot of the old piers around. Those were the uh, pilings that they brought the logs down to and they mill them up and, and uh, send them out of here by rail. And uh, but it's been around a long time, and uh, both the town of Wheeler and the Haywood are basically kind of remnants of that old uh, um, industrialization. And now they're more, you know, for, for the tourists, and lots of little craft shops and and uh, you know, antiques, delis, you know, those kinds of things here now. They thrive pretty well in the summertime. Uh, wintertime, they're pretty quiet. And of course, when the salmon are in, they uh, uh, they see a lot of people here, and uh, all the time from well, first part of July all the way through you know July, August, September, and using well into October. And, uh, this year, the, the runs are down, and well, we don't see the crowds, which is kind of nice, but um, it would be nice to have the, the crowds of fish. I had a report from the mouth yesterday that there were there were quite a number of fish caught. The only problem is that every one of them is a wild coho, which had to be released. We can we can keep one uh, chinook and one hatchery coho, and uh, the one saving grace of this fishery is that up the north fork of the Nahalem, there is a hatchery that raises coho, but we haven't seen any of them. Good morning everybody, it's Rob Holman with Northwest Fishing Reports. I'm here off the Oregon coast with Dale Ballard the Fin Reaper. We're doing some fall chinook fishing today, Dale. Yes, we are. We got off to a good start. Could have been a better start. But, sure. Uh, you know, while we were getting the rods set up, getting them in the water, one goes down and everybody's busy and, well, we crackered that one. <laughs> yeah, right. There are fish here though, so we're excited yep. to get out here. Brand new fishery for me, Dale, but you've been fishing this for years. Uh, well, I, I grew up, uh, I'm a native Oregonian, I've been fishing this since the uh, mid-60s. Tell me a little bit about this. We're uh, on the Nehalem Bay. Yes. Uh, we're mid-tide water. We're, you know, a half a mile above the town of Nehalem itself. Uh, tide water extends up several more miles. Uh, it's a very popular place to go up and fish for uh, uh, these fish. Um, you know, bobber and eggs farther on up. Sure. Um, so, um, it's been a rather slow year. It's been a kind of hunt and peck here and there. But uh, we're seeing some fish today and, uh, you know, hope springs eternal. Yeah, but, right. <laughs> right. So, uh, this is all farmland down in, in our, and we often see deer and elk especially uh, sure. along here. It's kind of a kind of a neat fishery. Fish. Oh, it just slipped off. Did it? Nope. I think he's still good. there, John. Nice Come on. He got there, John. We'll find out here in a second. Back over this way. I think it's a big, big hole. Yep, it's a wild hole. Oh, wild coho. Yep. Nice, nice coho though. Right. Yeah, we give a nice clean release there, huh? Yep, 